Slippery as an eel, exploring idioms in English. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of English idioms. Specifically, we'll explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, slippery as an eel. Idioms are a key part of learning any language, and understanding them can really help in grasping the cultural context of conversations. So, let's get started. Before we dive into our specific phrase, let's understand what idioms are. Idioms are phrases that have a meaning different from the dictionary definitions of the individual words. They are used figuratively and are a common part of everyday English. They can be challenging for learners because the meaning often can't be understood just by looking at the words. Now, let's focus on the phrase, slippery as an eel. This idiom is used to describe someone who is difficult to catch or pin down, physically or metaphorically. It often implies that the person is evasive, tricky, or not trustworthy. The comparison to an eel, a fish known for its slippery skin, creates a vivid image of something hard to grasp. To better understand, let's look at some examples. 1. In conversation, I tried to get a straight answer from him about the project, but he's as slippery as an eel. 2. In literature, the politician was slippery as an eel, dodging every question about the scandal. 3. In everyday use, trying to get a commitment from Alex is like trying to hold onto an eel, he's always slippery as an eel. When using, slippery as an eel, keep in mind, it's often used in a negative context. Make sure it fits the tone of your conversation. It can be informal and potentially offensive if used incorrectly. Use it to describe situations where someone is being evasive or hard to understand, not just physically elusive. That's a wrap on, slippery as an eel. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting idiom and will help you in understanding and using it correctly in your English conversations. Remember, idioms add color to language and mastering them is a big step in becoming fluent. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.